Good morning, everyone. Welcome into my channel. So today is Monday morning and I have gotten all my shipping done. My front door is crowded with packages. So it was a really good sales weekend. I'm very appreciative. Today I have errands to run, but there is a small thrift store that I like to bring you to. This is Mount Joy Gift and Thrift, and I love to pop in this store. Not only have I found really good items there, but it's that small town sweet thrift store feel, and I do love that on a Monday morning rather than hitting a really busy store. Although this store gets busy too. So that is what we have on the schedule today. My shipping is done. I'm going to do the bank, UPS drop off, and then we're going to hit Mount Joy Gift and Thrift together. All right, hit that like and subscribe button. We're going thrifting. It's Monday morning. It is a gorgeous sunny day. I don't know where you guys are and what part of the country you're located in or if you're out of the states. This is central Pennsylvania. The sky is the most beautiful blue. Maybe I'm just in a good mood because I get to go thrifting. <laughs> so this is Mount Joy Gift and Thrift. Out back, now I parked in the back parking lot. Look at the amount of parking for this store. There is uh, free items and this is for anybody. So I do go through these. I don't feel that they want this just to go to certain people. I always give this a little look-see and see what is out here. Not seeing anything at this point. All right, let's go around to the store. And although this store looks a little bit on the small side, they really jam pack it full of really wonderful items. Okay, lap robes over here, $2. I'm actually gonna look in this little bin. Now these are going to be really small afghans. So what I look for is really good workmanship and pretty colorways. This one's not bad. A little bit of a pastel rainbow. Kind of pretty. I do like the bigger afghans and I love the black when it's a granny square with the black with the really bright colors. All right, not seeing anything in that basket. Pillows. And on the other side, some floral. All right, let's go inside and see what we can find. Lots of jewelry, $4 for this piece. Oh, that's quite pretty. It's like a brown stone. Now, I don't do a lot of jewelry, but lately I've been picking up more and more Vera Bradley bags. This one is $12.99. Okay, we're going to take a look. I love this little section here. I always look for pottery or special glassware, colored glass, more times than, than clear glass. All right, and let me see what's on sale. Yellow is 50% off, so yellow tag we're looking for. Oh, right away, I'm seeing this quilt. Not even in the door. Oh, this is handmade, this is lovely. I imagine they're gonna want quite a bit for this. Uh, $19.99, hmm, that's quite nice for $20. Okay, I'm gonna give that consideration. What is this one? Okay, why does that not seem handmade? Oh, this is lovely. It's got quite a bit of damage though. So I just shipped out the um, Girl in a Sunbonnet quilt. I think I showed you guys, I found that one in a barn sale and that one did sell and that one had quite a bit of damage, but that one did, I think 65 and I had paid, I believe 10 for it. If, if memory serves me correct. Okay, so this is where the linens are. I do like this pattern, looks to be Waverly maybe. And what are they getting for this? Okay, so $3, that's not bad, that's a good price. Okay, lots of linens at this store. 
All right, let's go on to the other side and maybe we'll come back to this side. Okay, so this area is silent auction and there is a book and you put in the amount that you'd like to pay and then when the item comes up, whoever has bid the highest wins it. Look at this collection here. Oh, this is old, very pretty. 49, that's number 49, not $49. I do love this pink glass. It's like an opalescent. Beautiful, number 47. Ugh, be still my heart. That is gorgeous, and I'm not even a glass collector. They have some beautiful things in the case. A couple of handbags. I think these are the Cinderella nesting balls, Pyrex. Ah, oh, really liking this. I, as a general rule, really don't do silent auction. But maybe I will start. Okay, I don't like the idea of having to outbid other people, but I do go to regular auctions, so it's kind of the same thing, only different. Okay, so in this area, shishly glass and different pieces of pottery. Okay, we can see that that's like a terracotta, $1.50, very thick piece. Hmm. Another piece. These seem to be student, uh, student done. Lots of decorative plates, $2. As a general rule, I don't pick up decorative plates. Now, I might have a few in my store if I thought they were very unique or I got them, you know, for a quarter or something like that. But other than that, I stay away from decorative plates. Oh, this hat is lovely. I just sold a hat and shipped it out this morning that I bought in Reuse It Shop. I paid $8 for that one. It was mink. I don't know what kind of fur this is. I don't think it's sable. Let's take a look inside. Most times the insides of vintage hats do not say what type of fur they are. Okay, so I think that says WH somebody. Ewing and Sun Furs, St. John's, $20. Wish it was yellow tag, but boy, is that a pretty one. I guess this is called a pillbox hat. Okay, 20 a little bit high, but right next to it on the shelf, I'm seeing this bowl. Okay, genuine wood. I'm going to take a look at so, oh, this is so pretty. $6.50. I wonder what kind of wood that is. That is really a pretty design. I think that's our first item. I'm going to see that the top fits correctly. I don't know that this is really old. Let's take a look at it closer. Now, the top is a little bit lighter than the bottom. I almost don't mind that. I'm going to go ahead and pick that up. So we're going to make a pile right here on the floor. Out of the way. Very pretty. Okay, so we have a good start going. These are just little dishes. It's like a statue of some sort. Wonder if that's like an incense piece. Maybe not. Different flutes. 650 Bolivia, 1986. A little rabbit. I think he's just made it. Oh, he's attached. Oh, look at that. Somebody took a figurine and attached him to this Oreo. I wonder if this was a memorial box, but I don't know how this opens. Hmm, interesting. Okay, let's try to get this piece out. Scissors? That's my guess. Oh no. I think this is a letter opener. 650. Yeah, it looks to be a brass letter opener. Very interesting. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. Oh, I won the prize. Go me. All right. Oh, these are pretty. Sugar, the finest quality Cuban sugar made in India. Little sugar dish. 350. Probably just silver plate, I would imagine, if that. I do like this, though. I would like this even for a vanity to put, like, um, Q-tips in or cotton balls. Let's take a look at this one. And this is the T650 English breakfast. I might have to comp these. 
quite pretty. Here is the third piece. This is coffee. Okay, so six fifty and six fifty would be thirteen sixteen fifty for the three. Quite nice together. All right, I think we're gonna do these. Okay, this is a lovely chest. I'm guessing it's a jewelry chest. This is like a fiberboard though, or an MDF board, probably fiberboard. So a little bit deceiving, $25. But you guys know I always love these brass inlay carved boxes. $4.50 for this, that is a great find. We're gonna go ahead and pick that one up. When you open these boxes, they're just so pretty. Look how beautiful that is. We're definitely taking that one. It's good for keepsakes or just to organize little bits and bobs. We love that. Down here I'm seeing a pear brass dish. Good place to drop your keys. This is handcrafted in India. Mm, I like it, but not enough to buy it, I don't think. It's a lobster dish. Okay, what else do we see? I'm also noticing two mirrors, one there and one there that I really like. I'm wondering if those are plastic or if they are real wood. So maybe one of the sales help employees know. I'm gonna see if somebody knows if those are real wood or not. Spotting this pretty bowl sitting in the sunshine. No signature on the bottom. Look at that swirl. That's so interesting. Definitely hand thrown. It's got a rib to it. Like I said, I don't see a price. I'm gonna to have to check on that. And you guys have to remind me that it's yellow tag that is on sale today. Oops, sorry. All right, men's shoes. Do we wanna do shoes? Let's do hard goods and jewelry first. Okay, lots of jewelry in the case. So pretty, so pretty. Okay, that says $3 on it. Am I looking at that correct? That is very interesting back there. I'm gonna, probably just the earrings, but I like that necklace too. So we're gonna take a look at that. Oh, is this case open? Maybe it's not supposed, oh, it is open, great. Maybe we're allowed to just do a little, a little peeking for ourselves. Okay, it's this back here. Huh, look at that. I have never seen where it's like a plastic medallion. And then this is on top of it. All right, we're going to bring that up. I don't see another price. Oh, there it is, $5. That is still a beautiful piece. I'm going to go ahead, I think, and take both of these. Let's put that up top. We're going to claim that for us. All right. Oh, a beautiful rhinestone necklace. I love a good rhinestone. Do we love a good rhinestone? Yes, we do. Kind of lightweight though. I would want it to have a little bit more weight. Oh, but that is very sparkly. <laughs> I'm like a fish. Six dollars. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna put that one back. What else are we seeing? It's a pretty topaz looking stone. All right, let's carefully slide this glass back the other way. I hope I'm not missing anything. Oh, I love when a case is unlocked. That's so nice for the customer. Okay, what else are we seeing? Look at this piece down here. Again, lightweight, and you guys know me, I look for things with the amount of weight that I'm expecting it to have for the size. I don't even know how to describe that. The density, I guess it's called. This is kind of pretty for spring. That's almost mod, you know, like the 70s, pops of white. And here is the ring case. Out of all my jewelry, I probably wear rings the most. Look at this one here, $4. I don't think any of these are sterling. I mean, they could be. I think I want all the rings. I love rings. Here is a bezel set stone. That's quite unique. Huh. Two dollars. I like the way that's bezel set. 
me see if I can get that on my finger with one hand. I'll take a look at that. Oh, forgive my dusty hands from taking in vintage goods. Hmm, kind of pretty. That almost looks like it's um, artisan. Am I saying that right? Artisan made? This little box says Holston, which would be vintage. Oh, I think it's a little perfume flask. Could that be? Maybe not. Maybe it's a bowling pin. I don't know what this is. Does that open? It probably does open, and this is the dauber. Uh, I can't do it with one hand. Let me put the camera down. Yes, yeah, so Holston probably does put this out. And you carry scent in air, and you're able to put on a little perfume through your night out. That is very fun. I kind of like that. I think I'm going to take that for $6. All right, so we're going to make a pile up there. Let's take a look at this display with all these lovely chunky rings. I want them all. Very beautiful. This almost looks like a Chanel. No, it's not. But I kind of like that ring. Up. Oh, oh, that is very pretty. Two horseshoes. Seven dollars. I think I'm going to buy that for myself. Or maybe to sell. You never know. You never know with me. Okay, you guys do know me. Most of the times I'm selling it. But how pretty is that? That is very pretty. We're taking that one. Here is the second display. Lovely. This one has like a garnet looking stone in it. It's got good weight to it. Vintage. I think the rhinestones are called paste. P-A-S-T-E back in the day. It's kind of pretty too. Six dollars. I might grab that too. That is so pretty. This cocktail ring is beautiful. I love the color of the stones. Real smoky looking. Six dollars. Let's put this one on the finger and see what this one looks like. Oh, doesn't fit on that finger. Okay, that is gorgeous. It's got good weight to it. How pretty is that? We're gonna go ahead and take that one too. Some more rings on this tray. Oh, look at this one. Wow, that's big. There must be a name to that. It covers your whole finger. What do they want for this one? Six fifty. Not sure how you bend your knuckle. But okay, that is very fun. So much jewelry in the store today. It's like a little enamel. This little reminds me of a dogwood flower. $3. That is quite pretty. I think we're going to take that one. Oh, kitty cat pin. Hold the phone. Oh, his tail is curled. What would that be for? Maybe to hang your glasses on? Could that be? So you put him on your sweater and then your glasses hang on him. He has two dollars. That is adorable. I'm gonna take that too. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Do you think his tail is for hanging a pair of glasses on? That might not even fit, you know, the arm of, of somebody's prescription eyeglasses. Let's see what else is on this little lampshade. It's a pretty calla lily pin with a pearl. Oh, what is this? It's plastic. Hmm, I wonder how old that is. Doesn't really seem to have too much age. I bet you if I learned the hardware of jewelry, I would understand the age of it. <laughs> A dangly leg kitty. All right, so this is what we have so far. We have these pieces here, and we also have this necklace and earrings. Now I'm second guessing the necklace. I think I'm going to go with the earrings and wait on the necklace. I do love the earrings. So we're going to go with those. And I do like the rhinestone part of the necklace, but I don't know how I feel about this plastic backdrop. So I think I'm going to wait on this one. Not sure where this goes back. Oh, I see. It goes back on the other side. Let's go back down here. Let's stick this back in. I'll put that there. This black necklace is lovely. I think I have one of those in inventory. After a while, it's hard to keep track of what you have in inventory, what's sold. Okay, lots of necklaces back there. Oh, this goes all the way around. Let's take a look at the other side too. Okay, this is fun. Very fun. What do they want for this? Five. Five fifty stretchy band. I feel like because the pearls are bigger on one side, this would always be on the bottom of your wrist. Just a guess. 
These are lovely. Let's take a look at these. I like them because the pearls have that gold cap on them. Seems to be vintage. I don't know a lot about jewelry, but I'm learning. Six dollars. Okay. And I love this with the roller balls. Oh, I like this clasp too. Let's take a look at this one. I think there's two of these. Let me see if I can get this down. Oh, it's one long one. Oh, let it be a good price. I really like this. Oh, that's so pretty. Four dollars. I think we can do that. All right, so we're gonna take that one too. Just checking the roller balls aren't missing any of the rhinestones. And I'm wrecking the place here. <laughs> Spread this back out. Okay, I don't know anything about pearls. Maybe you guys will teach me in the comments what to look for. Long ago, I heard if you rub pearls on your teeth and they feel rough, that means they're real. But I'm not about to rub <laughs> thrift store pearls on my teeth. That would be weird. It's kind of pretty. I gravitate towards the smoky, like really dark stones. You guys can probably tell. Hmm, that's kind of pretty. Just silver balls, graduated. Turquoise is always a good seller in my store. A lot of women love to wear turquoise. Such a pretty color. Okay, I feel like I could just buy everything today. In that mood. Okay, these are really pretty. What do they want for this? Five dollars. Uh, something about it I'm not crazy about. I think it's the different irregular cut stones. Okay, I think that ends jewelry. Let's get back to hard goods. Lots of vintage in this back corner. Fancy gloves. Could you imagine putting on these gloves to go out? That would have lasted five minutes with me. <laughs> That's a very fun hat with a little little netting. Look at this with a little, it's almost like a pussy willow little dot. So pretty, so delicate. Okay, Betty Davis is one of my favorite old-time movie stars, and this always reminds me of that type of um, jewelry and accessories. Okay, these are all quite lovely. Two dollars for these. I do like these with the rhinestones. And these are clip-on? Yes, they are. Three dollars. I think we're going to grab those, too. Should I grab all of them? Hmm. Look at these roses, little clips, $1.50. We're gonna take those too. A little stole or a wrap, bolero, a shrug, <laughs> all of those words. Here's a beaded little clutch bag. I think this is genuine vintage, yep. You always look at the backing to see what kind of material they used on the back. Look at that work, that is amazing. Oh, $9.99, that's a very good price. Kind of tiny, what do you even keep in this? I think a couple of dollars and a lipstick, maybe. So pretty. Do I want that? I'm gonna give that one thought. I was kind of wishing it was yellow tag. Okay, here is a yellow tag, $24.99, a needlepoint purse. Now let me put my earrings down so we can see what the inside looks like. Kiss clasp. Let me see if I can pop this open. I don't see a maker in there. I think almost all purses, handbags should have a material content and a uh, country of origin. And I don't see that in this one. That is quite lovely. It's in very good shape. Still would be $12.50. I think I'm going to wait on it. But after I put the camera down, I am going to hunt a little bit more to see if there's a tag in there. I don't see one. Okay, oh, where does this go? I think that one went down there. All right, let's grab our earrings. Lots of shoes and boots, hats. So this back wall has a lot of the sale items. Some of them are 50 cents in that last rack there. And quite a few of the shoes have the yellow tag. I did pull down these boots because when I felt them, the leather is super nice, beautiful leather. 
just very soft and supple. I knew that the size was good, bigger size. This is size 11. Now this is Cole Han, $24.99, so I'll be paying $12.50. But this is Cole Han made in Brazil. So the Cole Han that's made in Italy and Brazil, I do better with those than when it was made in China. I believe, I don't know what year they started really um, producing in China, but really nice condition. I'm gonna go ahead and grab these. Really nice boots, I think these will do well. Okay, so I think we have filled this little basket here, and I'm just going to do a hole in the car trunk as usual and show you what I got. So here is a fun little trunk haul right in the parking lot. <laughs> I love doing those kind of hauls because I don't have to set any lighting up. The sunlight is the perfect lighting. Okay, first off, we did choose this wood beautiful bowl with cover dish. I don't know if this is rosewood or what kind of wood. Definitely wood and I love this round shape. It's very organic looking and just beautiful. I think this would look great on a vanity. Here are the jewelry pieces I wound up choosing. I think you guys caught most of this and the prices there are really good. So if you are on the hunt for jewelry, whether it be for yourself or for resale, Mount Joy Thrift and Gift is the place. They have hundreds of pieces and guys, the prices are really, really good. And sometimes they even run a sale up to 75% off. I've caught that sale. That sale was amazing. Next up are just these canisters or tins. Now, I did not comp these, so I'm not quite sure, you know, if I'm gonna make a huge profit, but I really like these for a vanity, for an old-fashioned powder room, bathroom. I think this would be great for storing different, um, you know, just different necessities in life, whether it be cotton balls or, or cotton rounds for, you know, taking off your makeup. I thought these are really great. Last up is the pair of Cole Haan boots. I do not pick up all Cole Haan, but these, like I said, the leather is beautiful. They're in great condition. I thought the style was really nice and they're size 11, so that is great. And I did get these half price. Yellow tag was half price. So what would that be? $12.50. All right, guys, so those are the pieces I picked up in Mount Joy Gift and Thrift. If you're in the area, definitely stop by and tell them that Karen from Lavender Clothesline sent you. Okay, so that is the video for today. Thanks for the encouragement. Go out and get what's yours.